it's not an accident that people don't know the array of substances they're exposed to. It's not some accident. It's not like you're confused because it's all complicated and scientific. It's actually, there's been a systematic effort over the last 20, 25 years to keep that information from the public. This, these documents here are the ones I received from DuPont after my inquiries, as you see here back in 2000, December. As you see, you've, got, you've almost got to be a chemist to really understand it. It's always been said it's not a candy factory. You know, it, there are dangerous chemicals. There are very, very dangerous chemicals. There are explosions. There are all sorts of things that can happen on a chemical factory. What's happening is that the polluting industries um, have a big interest in influencing and weakening and delaying um, any assessment and final regulation for their products. But it looks bad if they're the ones stepping in. It looks bad when Philip Morris says cigarettes are safe for you. It looks a lot better if somebody in a white lab coat says cigarettes are safe for you. Or at least if they say cigarettes aren't that bad for you. Or maybe if they just say uh, we're undecided and we need more data. But I've found very personally that corporations have no memory and no morality. Hey, how do you think I understand the system so well? I was not an angel. I've been there. Do we know that there are levels of um, pollutants that are higher than they should be? Yes, we do. So are there particulates that are too high, toxic chemicals that are too high? The answer is yes. We're exposed to hundreds of chemicals in the course of a day. We eat trace contaminants in our foods. We eat food packaging chemicals, persistent pesticides. Um, so just the act of living now involves exposures to hundreds of chemicals every day. And most of these chemicals didn't even exist 50 years ago. So this is a big experiment. What happens when you expose 300 million people to hundreds of chemicals daily? What does that mean for our health? And um, the results of the experiment aren't in yet, but the results won't be positive.